Hi everyone and welcome to another video from thespairrepair.com. In this video we're going to show you how to take out the spare tire out of your trunk. So if you find yourself in a situation where you need the spare tire, you'll know what to do. So stay tuned. Thespairrepair.com Before we start, I would just like to say a few words about the tire location. On almost all cars, of course, the tire is located in the trunk in a compartment of its own, like here in case of the Skoda and most cars. So you raise this floor panel and the tire is there. There is also another option and that is that the spare tire may be located beneath the car, right here. It will either be hanging or have a compartment of its own. If this is the case on your car, then you should search for a mechanism somewhere. It usually has a system where you insert the uh, tire wrench into the mechanism, turn it and release the tire. Other more rare options are that the spare tire might be in the front compartment if the engine is located in the back or it may be located underneath a side panel. Now, let's say you have a flat tire, you have to get the spare tire out. The first thing you do is raise this floor panel like this. Now, on almost all cars, I don't know if you know this, but there is sort of a gimmick. Uh, this is a handle here, which serves for pulling up the panel. But besides being a handle, you can unlatch it. And here you have a hook for holding this panel up so you pull it up and you put the hook here so you have a free access to the spare tire this is present on almost all cars a good feature if it wasn't there then you would probably have to wrestle with the panel but this way it's really good now the situation on most cars is that inside the spare tire you will have a, a mini tool set okay this is the case with the Skoda. It's more or less present on every car. The only difference is how the tool case looks like. Here you have a nice lid here. Where I put my vest and the first aid kit. But when you raise it, here is the car jack, the tire wrench, uh, the hook for towing and so on. So you have to take this out. First, in case of the Skoda, you take out the car jack and there is a big plastic screw here that you're supposed to take off. So, unscrew it. Now, on most cars, it may take some time. And this is how it looks like take out the screw and after that take out the whole toolkit very nicely done the purpose of this is to can put the toolkit aside for more convenient use after that you have free access to the spare tire uh, I would recommend that you don't grab it here, but grab it in the center where the lug nuts go and pull out the tire like this. There you have it and pull it out. Now, when you want to insert either the old tire or the spare tire, use the same steps only in the opposite way. So first put in the tire. Again, you can hold it by the metal right here and insert it into the compartment make sure you align it with the thread down there after that insert the toolkit most of these have predefined places here that sit into the spare tire so you can find the thread easier after that Take the big screw and screw the kit and tire into place. If 
finding the thread may take some time make sure not to damage the thread or screw the screw is pretty long it might take some time to tighten it there we go. you don't have to over tighten just make sure that everything is firmly in place after this return the jack or any tools back into place close the toolkit make sure everything is fitted in properly after that unlatch the hook put it back into place so it can serve as a handle again and put the trunk panel back in so that's it for this time i hope this video helps one last word of advice always know where everything is in your car especially the important things like the spare tire the last thing you would want to happen is to get a flat tire, especially at night, and uh, not know where it is or how to get it out. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Also, if you find the time, visit us at our website, despairrepair.com, where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.